Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 12 of Loke Love, and I believe this has to be the last episode for volume 1, because we're kind of at the climax of the story, it seems. So in episode 11, Hiwa was kind of doubting about her luck charm, and at first she really believed in it because um, it gave her Ejitaro the opportunity for him to stay at her place. But now the dad's here to break everything up, and now he was doubting like, well maybe Ichar was right, that it brings misfortune. And then the dad found out about the charm, and then he tries to throw it out the balcony, he's like, um, well, this is for your future. And as for the dad, he has the same amount of credibility as the headmistress from Princess Evangile. So in other words, he's not a good person to decide what is best for Hiwa in her future, given that he has a failure himself, the fact that he neglected his wife or he was mother, and then when the wife and mother got terminally ill, the dad started to, to regret, it's like, well maybe I should have done this, this, this. So he's trying to push it onto Hiwa, hoping that she will be more successful than him. But anyways, it looks like Someone's here, and he's calling out to Hiwa. And I'm pretty sure we know who this person has to be. So let's find out. <gasps> and I'm pretty sure Hiwa knows it as well. Okay, she definitely knows now. So I peek down over the edge of the balcony. And down the road, where the charm fell down, I see... <laughs> Senpai! Oh, it's you! Hey, uh, Hiwa! So, clutching the charm tightly in my hand, I called out to her. So, the moment that um the charm dropped onto the street, below the balcony, it looks like the person who came to answer it is Ishitaro. And in a sense, it gives Hiwa the feeling that the charm still has its luck. And obviously the dad would be upset. It's like, wait, I thought I got rid of you. Why are you still here? Wait, well, um, why'd you come back? Well, I'll never give up on her. All I can do is bleed. So now we're looking from Ichitaro's perspective. So instead of trying the front door again, I circled the building until I found myself standing below the balcony of her second floor apartment. It's like, well, there's no way I'm be able to go through the front door because I'm the dad's guarding it. It disconnected the intercom. So I'll just find another way to get in. And I think he was going to climb up the um let's say like um the bricks, the wall, and enter from the back door. Right at the moment, that charm of Hiwa it fluttered down from the heavens. And I think it serves like a well, it's kind of like um, the charm is a um, antenna or I'll say like a tracking device. So um, when it fell down to the street below, it kind of marked the location of where he was apartment room is. And that made it easier for Ichitaro to find where he was. Well, I managed to catch it, gripping firmly in my hand. Oh, so he was able to catch it before it touched the floor. Well, it's almost time. Well, it's almost like a message from the gods. Yeah, that's kind of true. That's why I'm able to call to her with a smile. Well, I'm here to pick you up, Hiwa. Well, I know I left without saying anything earlier. 
But I realized that that's no good. I need to show some courage, just like you always did. That's right. So I raise my hand and show her the charm I just caught. So this charm still connects us, you see? So she almost lost hope. So Hiwa had the same fears as well. Well, I can't blame her. That just goes to show how hard this has been on her. But I'm sure she really wants to believe. And that's why she came out onto the balcony. Don't worry, I'll catch you. Okay, so um, here's a way to escape from your dad. So just jump out from the balcony and I'll catch you. And and I'm here because I believe in her. Well, he should hurry up before the dad catches up to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm all yours, and you're mine. I still love you, Hiwa. Alright, so the dad has caught up to them, so come. So her dad came out onto the balcony as well, and he's trying to drag her back inside. So they come, I told you to get away from him. You're coming with me, you're going back to my place. But he was desperately clinging onto the handrail. And I'm not about to step back either. So I wonder what's going to happen next. Is he going to jump down and have Ichitaro catch her, or Ichitaro's going to climb up onto Hiwa's balcony and confront the dad man to man? Come on, Hiwa! So I look up at her and spread my arms wide. Okay, so it's like a um, jump. I believe in you with all my heart. It's okay, I'm sure it'll be okay. I'll definitely catch her. If the gods are telling me to do this. No. It's me who wants to do this. Well, that would carry more weight if you said, like, well, the gods want me to connect to her, and they're probably giving me this as, like, a true test to see how much I really love Hiwa. And because he would tell me so. So trust me, Hiwa. So like um, well, go ahead and jump, um, don't worry, you won't get hurt. I'll make sure you will not get hurt and have no scratches. I'll catch you and you'll land safely down here. So come here. So I break myself and spread my arms wide open again. Okay, so Hiwa rings herself free from the dad. Hiwa! No, Hiwa! So seeing that, I'm ready to catch her. Okay, so um, she hops over the handrail without hesitation and jumps straight down. And he was actually excited that she's going into the arms of Ichitaro. Hiwa! And with every ounce of strength in my body, I catch her in my arms. And she lands safely. Hiwa! Hiwa! No, no, no! Hiwa! Hiwa! And I wonder what the dad 
or how the, the dad feels now. <laughs> but either way, he was happy, and I hope the dad didn't file a police report claiming that he was being kidnapped by Ichitaro, because I'm pretty sure that would be his last desperate attempt to get Hiwa back from Ichitaro. So on our way home from school, we decided to drop by the um, Tsukikawa Shrine to pray. So the place where Vachio works. Alright, I'm done. So I think, well, um, we went through all of this to be connected together, so I think this is the best time to pray and thank the gods for allowing us to be together. Well, um, we're heading home now, Yachio. See you later. Okay, so be careful. Uh, well, should we go and say hi to your father before we go? Um. Well, let's see. So I think it's like um. So yeah, she was like um. Well, maybe um, you should give him some time to realize that um, he really likes and wants to be with Ichitaro, and I think he's still pouting over his loss. Oh, I see. Oh well, we'll come back some other time then. <laughs> so I wonder if she was referring to her father or he was dad. So um, I wonder why. Well, I think um, he was literally um, well, sacrificing her safety for Ichitaro. The fact that she's jumping down the balcony, that's a pretty big shock to anyone. But then it's like, oh, well, I trust my safety into Ichitaro. He'll make sure I land in one piece, all safe, all unharmed. And then it's like, well, I just sacrificed a little bit. I um, had a sprain when I caught Hiwa with my arms. But it does show how much he really loves Hiwa and how much he was willing to trust Ichitaro to help her at this situation. Well, you know. And let's just say that I did it for love. Well, that's a big truth. <laughs> so I think Yachio is blushing because I come. So, um, you're kind of um, thanking me for all this. Like, um, you're kind of putting too much credit on me for being able to make this happen to you. Well, um, you didn't have to point that out. And besides, um, have you looked in a mirror? Yeah, well, it's natural reflex, just like what I did. Well, anyways, um, it's what it is. That's you. Well, at least um, I should congratulate you that um, you two are now a true couple. But then again, it's all thanks to you to make all of this possible. And 
and I think it's like, well, I kind of understand why the dad would be all upset, given that um, you two are gone pretty far, pretty quickly. Well, I thought you were wishing us the best, but it doesn't sound like that at all. <laughs> oh well. Well, thanks, um... Well, maybe I will. Ow, 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 Okay, he still has that spring. So lean on Hila's shoulder. I try to forget about the pain in my legs and butt as we walk home. Well, I'm heavy, right? Well, then again, you're a guy. You're like this big muscular guy. But then again, um, I caused it. Um, you're trying to protect me as I land. Well, I told you, um, there's no need to fret. My ankle's just sprained, and the doctor said there didn't seem to be any cracks in my tailbone. But then again, if it's sprained, you shouldn't be putting more stress on it, because it may actually... Well, if he does continue to put strain on it, it may um lead to cracks. You're supposed to give it a rest, let it recover. Well, what's most important is that you didn't have a scratch, Yiwa. So she puts her hand on top of the one I have wrapped around her shoulder. And the warmth of her soft touch seeps into my body. And you did promise that you would catch me and break my fall. Yeah, so I'll wear my injuries like a badge of honor. And they give me a legit excuse to um touch your shoulder. Oh, come on, um, you're exaggerating again. So he will interwinds her fingers with mine. Yeah. And responding to her touch, I caress her fingers by the way of affirming our relationship. Well, we can't hold hands right now, so this I'll have to do instead. But that's fine because we are now, or we now know that we have a future together. So on that fateful Sunday, he was dead scrambled down the stairs in panic. And when he saw that I managed to catch Hiwa and she was safe, he burst into tears of relief. And I think that gave a big message to the dad like, this is how much I really love Hiwa, this is how much I really want to take care of her, this is how much I really want to be with her, with her forever and ever. And he made, he made sure to thank me profusely. I was afraid he was going to yell at me for seducing his daughter and putting her in danger, but apparently the fact that she was unhurt meant more to him than anything else. And like I said, it was a big message to the dad about their relationship. And after that, he finally let me into the apartment so we could talk. And now that um, he's finally calmed down, um, they're able to probably explain about what is going on. So um, please, um, won't you allow her to stay here? And I think at that time you're still kind of in doubt. Well, everything considered, he's still her father. Like, 
So he must have been apprehensive about the idea. But we could just give up on it. So um, we had to try our best to convince him somehow. And I think one place to start is... Well, the dad should know that Ishitaro isn't some random person on the street that he would just pulled in. There you go. It's like, um, well, that kind of shows how much you two really love each other. And I could see some of the instincts that um, your mother had. Nice apologize again. Well, I'm sorry for all the things that I've said to you. So, um, will you please, will you accept me still? <gasps> so in the end, her dad listened to us and gave in. And I'm pretty sure like um his original fear was that um maybe this guy's not the right person. Um well I don't I didn't really know him that well, um he may be some bad person and that you Hila is too blind to um see it. So stick on the well, don't worry. I'll catch as, as many times as, as I need to. Well, um, I won't jump again. But I think it's like, oh, well, now that we're able to get this really big message across to the dad, there's no need for us to do it again. The fact that now you understand what we really mean. And I wonder if the dad actually did reflect very well about what he did wrong that caused Kiwako to pass early. And so, well, I was kind of lonely, and I really wanted you back. I really wanted all my kids back, because I just want a company. Well, I completely understand how he feels. And I think it's like, well, um, the fact that um, he was going to um, go away with Ichitaro, it kind of feels like I'm losing one of my daughters permanently because um, she's going to be away. She won't be able to talk to me anymore because um, she has her new boyfriend to be husband to um, talk to. So he was family. He really seems to care about her a lot. But I not and now he also understands that, um, well, you've grown up, you can make your choices. And I do agree that, um, Ichitaro Aoi is a good person for you, because, um, he will really care for you. So, in a certain sense, I'm taking his daughter away from him. There you go. But still, yes. So I sit bolt upright. And oh, so he's gonna pay to have his um, sprains cured. Thank you, sir. 
その代わりに責任を取ってもらいたい。But then again, now that you have my daughter, I do expect high、um, demands from you.、Uh, yes, of course, sir. I'll take full responsibility and I promise I'll make her happy. The thing that I have to do with the reform is that I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, so by the way,、I'm... your apartment's going to be fixed and it's ready for you to go back, right?、Uh, yes,、um, my landlord told me about that,、um, but wait. That's right. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I think, well, I'll take back the apartment still, and this time Hiwa gets to move in with you. And basically, yeah, you take care of the rent, you take care of the, of the bills. Wait, what? But you're still gonna keep paying the rent at your place, right? Well, okay, so it's like,、um, well, we'll still keep the apartment, but、um, that apartment's gonna be for Miwa. And maybe,、um, I forgot the name of the、um, guy, oh, yeah, Seisu. It's like, well,、um, he wants me to move in with you and have Icharo do all the、um, bills, and then I'll leave the、um, apartment open for.、Um, For um, he was siblings. Well, I guess um, that works out perfectly then. So, Miwa. So, Miwa Chan was already wanting to go to the same school as you, and you already said that she was planning to move in with you. So, things like, well, maybe um, I'll be as happy as Hiwa if I do move into that place as well. In a sense, I mean, Hiwa kind of gave me what the same inspiration. Or like the idea is like, hey,、um, I can be successful if I move out on my own and live here. Well, where would, you have, where would we have been without them? Gives me a nuzzle before looking at, up at me with a dazzling smile. Okay, so tomorrow. Haha, ha, ha. yeah, that's right. Our new life starts tomorrow. Okay, so I'll move into your place ASAP. From paper, you'll still be, be living in that apartment, right? Well, my parents are pretty relaxed about stuff like this, though. When I gave them a call to ask, they simply laughed and said it was fine. But I'm pretty sure、um, Hiwa's dad can change the ownership of the、um, apartment. So if once, Hiwa, or once Miwa moves in, he can simply have、um, Hiwa's name taken off the, the tenants list and then have it replaced with Miwa. <laughs> So, obviously,、um, the dad would be skeptical about it, like I said. Well, that sounds about right for Yachio's dad. Oh, so talking about Yachio's dad. He's pretty. He's pretty strict and traditional, so I wasn't sure how to break it to him like, at first. But your dad somehow persuaded him, it must have been an intense argument. But then again, I don't think Yachio's dad really cares that much, because, like, well, it really doesn't have much to do with、um, our family affairs.、Um, basically, Hiwa and Ichara are just clients, like, well, it's up to what they do. Well, it's still really impressive that 
he managed to convince that still old priest, or the stiff old priest though, maybe his social standing played a part in that. Well, anyways, um, I've always thought that you seem to really, or that you seem really rich and well raised, but do you think that you're actually the daughter of some bigwig CEO, you're a real lady? Ooh, so I wonder what what company um, the dad works at. So she gently rubs her cheek against mine. Again. Yeah. So I press my forehead against hers. So, um, our life here will be over by the end of today, huh? And, um, we have a moving van ready tomorrow. Yeah, though I told them that I already have my own furniture, so there may not be enough space for all your items. It's like, um, I think it's like, well, I can also share some of my furniture with, um, my siblings, or my sister, Miwa. So, Hiwa shuffles closer to where I'm sitting, smuggling, or snuggling up against me. No, that's not the right word. So I smile and press my shoulder against hers, earning me a nuzzle. Yeah, well, we'll still be together tomorrow and forever. No, it's because you trusted me enough to actually jump. Well, I was just desperate. Well, I'm really glad that you managed, or I managed to catch you properly. Huh? So, wait, what are you apologizing about? Oh, um, well... It wasn't a perfect catch, because um, I did get one scratch. So, what's the scratch? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, that. We laughed and I look her straight in the face, or in the eyes. Well, I'll still take full responsibility of for that. Well, only if you let me love you in return. And I draw her into a kiss. And he uh, tightly wraps her arms around my back and clings to me with every part of her. And her sweet whispers, her soft breathing, her warm body, and craving all of it. Or all of her, I was I passionately intertwined my tongue with hers. So Hiwa <laughs> Well 
with her lips still locked. He was somehow manages to press her body against mine, or me allowing her, me to feel her curves. In response, I start pressing a certain hard, swollen part of me again over her body as well. And before I move out, Oh, but I do notice that um, you still have some injuries. Oh, don't worry. Like I said, it'll be fine. It'll heal, so... <laughs> so, I draw close to her again, pull pulling her into my arms as if to prove that I still have enough strength left. And I want you too, Hiwa. I'm the one who caused you to um or caused all the trouble to you in the first place. Remember? Uh, but you really gave it all you had to try and get through it. So let's call it even now. Don't mention it anymore, okay? <laughs> Oh, sorry. For um, so he presses her forehead against mine. She always shows that gesture whenever she's overflowing with love and happiness. It's almost frightening how well understood or understand her, how well I understand her now. I bring my hand to her face and lift her chin. Well, let's do it, Hiwa. And your heart? <laughs> and for one last time, we squeeze onto her small bed together, craving each other just as much as we did the first night. Alright, I'll put this one right here. Okay, so I wonder if um this is like a few days later when they actually moved to Ichara's place. Oh, so um it's their last night. There you go, Hiwa. <laughs> and after our hot, passionate final night in the apartment. Oh, so, um, that cut was just, um, another 18 plus scene, which I don't have in this version. And there was one more thing that we could not forget to exchange. So I gave Hiwa back the spare key to our apartment. And along with it, I gave her a spare key to my place. So now, we're the same. Well, even the charm is still the same. Right, um, but you know, um... Well, if the gods are watching over us, wouldn't it be awkward having sex. But then again, we're a couple, we're close together, so um... You think so? And I probably, they probably predicted it, it to happen this way anyways, because they're gods. And if that's all what you believe, then I believe it as well. 
So even when we move into my place, let's keep doing lots of um naughty stuff. Ha 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 ha, yeah. And again, we laugh together. Well, we can't hold hands right now, but because we're holding a key, but then. Well, pressing our foreheads together is enough to give me butterflies in my stomach. And I'm slightly different feeling from before, or it's a slightly different feeling from before, but the happiness I feel is still the same. So maybe I can just see what you have to offer for me. So maybe like you can be the host as well. Um, you, I'll say like um you, show me what kind of bath you have, what kind of furniture you have, um, what kind of stuff you have in your fridge. All right. Well, first of all, how about this? And I kiss her just like I always do. <laughs> so her breath quickens as she happily kisses me back. <laughs> So I was like, well, this is just the beginning. We have many years up ahead. Now that we've finally established our bond. Yeah, so, um, Hiwa. So from now on, let's stay together forever. <laughs> but I thought they already did that a long time ago. So is there something wrong with that? Haha, <laughs> well, we're still in high school, though. But the way she's already thinking about the future is part of the charm that makes her the Kojika Hiwa that I know. And I can't wait to see what tomorrow will bring. Hi. Well, we both seem to be thinking exactly the same thing. And we lock lips as if to affirm our happiness. Okay, so we're at the end of Loki Love, well actually volume 1, and Front Wing has two other volumes coming. So volume 2 is going to deal with the classmate, Aritagawa Neo, and volume 3 is going to deal with the Shrine Maiden, or Operator, Yachio. And I'm pretty sure in those two volumes, we'll be sticking with Ichitaro as the main character. So my take on this volume with Hiwa, it's good, it's quite decent, but if you want something that has more story, more adventure, more action, you will not enjoy this vision novel. So the one element that makes this vision novel interesting is the progression of romance, starting from where Ishitaro and Hiwa, they both have a crush on each other, but they're afraid to admit so and speak up. And by the end of the vision novel, they become a fully established couple. And no matter what conflicts they come across, like the father of Hiwa, they're able to come together and they're able to understand that, well, no matter how separated or distant we are, I trust that the other person still loves me. And this is true both ways for Hiwa and Ichitaro. 
And for he was father, he reminds me of the principal from Princess Evangel. So the headmistress. And like the headmistress, the father is successful. He's a CEO of a company. And that's probably why he had a poor relationship with his wife. And he didn't really care about it until it was too late when his wife or he was mom had terminal illness. And that kind of shows why he's not a good person to help he would decide what is best for her. But thankfully we have Ichitaro who is able to prove to the father that he's not some random person that just wants to take Hiwa in. He really likes Hiwa and he'll do anything possible to help Hiwa and protect her. So looking at Frontwing's other games, Frontwing likes to mention how this video novel is based on Yuki Koi Melt. And I do have the opening phase on my channel, you can go watch that if you're interested. But I feel that Frontwing is focusing on the wrong aspect of Yuki Koi Melt and what made Yuki Koi Melt a pretty decent vision novel. So Yuki Koi Melt was great because one, the character design of Taruhi Himeguri, and I think that's what helped it win awards. It also had a really good opening and common route, but then when you get to the individual character route, the story starts to fall apart. Just too much romance, and it feels that from when we crammed all the H scenes in the individual character route, and at the end, it felt that the routes were incomplete or rushed. And it felt that there was no new development per character. So now that I'm at the end of Loki Love, I can finally reveal that he was volume really resembled Shizuri from Yuki Koi Melt. So like Hiwa, Shizuri has a really nice body, a big bust, but she's older than the main character Miharu compared to Hiwa being younger than Hitaro. But like Hiwa, she really likes to take care of Miharu. She understands that Miharu hates the cold and tries everything that she can to keep him warm. And I do remember that one scene where she grabbed Miharu's hand up to her breast. She also cooks for Miharu. And there was actually one scene where she went to Miharu's classroom to have lunch together. And like Hiwa, She's already made everyone in the classroom jealous. But until Frontwing releases Yuki Koi Melt in English, I can't really give you too much details about what's going to happen next. But we can look forward to the other two volumes of Loki Love for Frontwing, and I do have plans to add those to my future playsets. So with that in mind, I'll see you in a future playthrough on a future vision novel.